Hello and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, we're going to take a look at using the advanced filter function uh, to extract rows of data that meet certain criteria and put the extracted rows into a separate range so that we don't have to hide rows in our main data set as you do with the traditional filter using the drop down arrows. So I've got some sample data in uh, A1 through D. I yeah, went down to D51. If you do a control end, you can see the last U cell. So yeah, I went down to D51. Control home, of course, brings me back to the top. So if you want to pause the video and set up some sample data for yourself, go right ahead. And we'll pick it up after the break. Okay, so <clears throat> what makes the advanced filter feature work is establishing a second range that has uh, column headings that we'll be able to use for filters. So I need to have these, these uh, cells marked as region, product, and salesperson, and they've got to be spelled the same way as my main data set over to the left. So the way we use this is, let's say I wanted to find all of the uh, pizza sales in the north region. So under region, I'll type north, and uh, for product, I'll type pizza. And uh, let's say I just want to use those two columns as filters. So I don't want to limit it by salesperson, at least not initially. So I'm going to click my mouse back in the main data set on the left. And uh, on the data tab of my ribbon, instead of using the traditional filter with the funnel icon, I'll click advanced. So when the advanced filter dialog box appears, I'll confirm that my main list range is A1 through D51 and that my criteria range is F1 through H2. So those column headings and whatever data I've entered below will serve as criteria. And then I don't want to filter the list in place, meaning I don't want to hide the rows that aren't pizza sales in the north region. I just want to copy those out and have them in a different area. So I'll choose copy to another location. And uh, so now the copy to field is illuminated or enabled and I'll choose maybe I'll just move a few cells below my filter uh, criteria so maybe I'll go to cell F5 so in other words find all the rows in the main list that are pizza sales in the north and copy them to F5 so I choose OK and so it found uh, those rows looks like uh, six rows of data matched and it brought that data over so what's nice is I could now send just this data set to the manager of pizza sales in the north region or wherever that needs to go I don't have to hide rows in my main data set to see the results now let's say I wanted to look at a different uh, combination of information so let's say I wanted to look at the uh, west region but I'm not concerned about the product but I want to see all the sales for Jerry in the west region so I change my criteria and uh, I'll go back and click the advanced filter now the rub is uh, that you always have to reselect the option that says copy to another location if that's what you want. It always defaults back to filtering the list in place. So I just had to choose copy to another location. My list range is the same. My criteria range is the same. And uh, I see the output range has expanded out to column I because that's how wide my data set is. I don't have to change anything here. I'll simply click OK. And now all the West Region sales by Jerry are displayed in that, in that result uh, range. Now one of the things that's nice is that I can extend my criteria range. So let's say uh, I want to look at Jerry sales in the East Region. But I'm also interested in all of the gumbo sales in the West Region. So I've now added a second row of criteria data so that's what's nice about this is I can continue to extend uh, so I'll go back now to the advanced filter and I'll choose copy to another location but I've got to make an adjustment now because my criteria range should go down to H3 not just H2 so if I click in that criteria range field in the dialog box I see the dancing ants around F1 through H2 you can simply use your mouse to reselect the appropriate range, or I could have changed it by modifying the cell reference and, and making it go down to row 3. So I've got two criteria, Jerry sales in the east and all gumbo sales in the west. We'll click OK, 
and now that's what I get. So I can see that in my results. I see everything that's uh, east is just Jerry, and the west entries all say gumbo. Uh, and there you go. So uh, that's how we use the advanced filter. Uh, tune in for part two when we'll actually create a macro to automatically refresh your results after you've modified the criteria so you don't have to constantly go back and relaunch the advanced filter. Uh, thanks for watching. Please tune in again soon. Have a productive day.